Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I am Lamia and this is The Lam Style. Today, I want to talk about a subject that everyone avoids talking about, but I've seen a lot of videos online about it, and I think maybe I should just, you know, discuss it. And I know that some people are going to be offended, but please don't get offended. This is just educational, this is just something fun to talk about also and just learn from each other, you know? If you are new here, I am Lamia and this is the Lam Style and I am your personal stylist and image consultant. So, let's start talking about the mistakes to avoid when it comes to fashion. And I have seen a lot of them and until today, I still see them in the streets or if I am with my friends or with my family and I keep correcting them but who am I talking to? My friends and family don't even listen to me. Actually my friends do, my family doesn't. <laughs> but let's go, let's start with the first mistake. This first mistake, we all are victim of it. We do it every single day. We kind of tend to go for it and it's usually following the trend blindly just because a trend or shopping in a trend just because a trend. So just so that we all are on the same page, we all agree that the influence of social media, the influence of other people in like, in general, you know, people do influence us to buy things because they are trendy, maybe social media, maybe fashion magazines, maybe, you know, um, maybe people like me who are talking about fashion trends and I have video about fashion trends, just influence us to shop for some trends that are not always like fitting our style or our body shape or our personality. So we tend to go and shop for lots of trends and we end up buying things that we don't really wear later or don't fit with our wardrobe and then when, we, when it comes to styling them we don't manage to style them properly. So this is one of the biggest fashion disasters is that we fall for the trends. And my only advice here is that avoid the trend because the trend is living for a very short time. You're wasting your money, you're wasting your energy. And also you tend to, or we all tend to make really big mistake while styling it. So let's just avoid the trends, all right? Second one is buying impulsively and the impulse buying usually comes from emotions. So first thing from that I ask my clients when I am, before I style them, I do ask them if they like, they tend to shop impulsively or they are organized when it comes to their shopping. I love to create a list and this is something that I do a lot and I do also for myself, for everything that I need. I do create a list based on my needs and what I am planning to buy and then when I buy I never get something that I just see there and I feel like I need to get it um, based on emotions or based also on you know it might be a trend and I just see it there and I like it and I see everyone jumping on it and I buy it. Not impulsive buying because impulsive buying takes you to a place where you tend to have stuff in your wardrobe that you don't really wear. That is also another mistake that I believe it's a fashion mistake, don't buy impulsively. Can we just talk about the fact that when we shop for quantity rather than quality, we tend to buy things that don't really look good and when you wear them, they don't look like, they don't look dressed up and they don't look neat um, and that is a fashion mistake. So better go for quality, for pieces that will last you for a long time, they will always look good, you know, they look neat, they look like new, they don't look worn out. Worn out clothes look very, very bad on um, most of people that have seen them or <laughs> wearing them. So it is a fashion mistake and also wearing worn out clothes usually is disrespectful to other people and I've known a lot of people who said to me clearly that they are very offended when someone comes to an interview dressed up with worn out clothes, um, maybe uh, going on a date and your clothes look very worn out, that is very disrespectful. Okay, another mistake that I see a lot and I still have seen it now and I don't know why people are still making this mistake, a mistake is the stitch vent. It's the back of the coat or back of a blazer um, and the stitch on the vent is left the people leave it and wear the clothes with that please take off that because that ruins every and any outfit and outwear is very important for it to look proper to look good to look decent and not leave 
the stitch fence on it <laughs> because I don't know. Okay, I understand that people sometimes are busy with life and they don't realize that it's there. But once you realize it's there, please take it off. <laughs> it's not supposed to be there. If you are a person who likes to wear high-end designer um, garments uh, or um, accessories and you love to dress up in logos, please make sure to not mix up the logos. Mixing logos from different brands looks very cheap and tacky and I think that if you are wearing a shirt with a logo, try to avoid logos everywhere else. But if you really, really have to wear a logo um, on shoes, bag, t-shirt, trousers, everywhere, please make sure that there are similar logos or at least like coming from the same brand. Uh, that looks much better and looks much classier and mixing logos is a big mistake and makes you look like you trying too hard. Um, I know that lots of people love to wear logos, logos is a big thing when it comes to designer clothes but mixing up logos it is really bad idea. Okay another fashion mistake that I see a lot and I don't think that people are talking about it enough is dressing up for the environment that you are in. For example, I see people wearing um, these bags that are supposed to be for the beach, for example, Celine or Saint Laurent or these kind of very known uh, straw bags and then they wear them to the office, they wear them to go for lunch or something like that and I wonder sometimes do people really think about the environments that they are going to so considering the environment is very important because those bags are not meant to be in the city unless you go into the market that is something different you you planning to put fruits and vegetables in it then it's cool or to the beach but then it's not meant to be for um, a socializing environment you know so, if you are wearing things, please consider the environments that you are going to and what it's proper to wear in that kind of environment. Most of the big fashion mistakes that happen mostly with women is the undergarment. Undergarment is something very essential, let's not forget about it. Take it from someone who has big boobs and has to wear undergarment all the time with everything. But if you have nice little small boots, boobs and you don't want, what am I calling, am I going to be... Am I going to be, <laughs> oh, is it good to say that on YouTube? But if you have a bust, a small bust, please make sure that you are wearing undergarments to cover up the nipples, cover up things, because yes, free the nipple, all these movements that we have, okay, I understand that. Everyone is free to do whatever they want to do. But when you dress up in a nice outfit, in a nice dress or a nice jumper, and then everything underneath is showing and things are not looking discreet, I don't think that it looks good. I don't think that it's how it's supposed to look. And the garments are very important when it comes to bras, for example, to cover things that should be covered. Also, underwear and the garments when it comes to knickers. Knickers have to be uh, discreet too. You can't see it over the outfit. You can't see it over your trousers. If you're wearing a white trouser, please wear transparent or nude colors of you know, undergarments, same with the bras, white t-shirt, you need to wear underneath it, or white shirt, you need to wear underneath it um, nude undergarments, so that doesn't show. Um, this is a big mistake, and it's not done on purpose, it's just, um, people forget about it, they don't really focus on it, and it tends to ruin most of your outfits. You make so much effort to put in together a really nice outfit, you spend so much money on it and then you ruin it with the undergarments. It's, it's a shame. So make sure you have the right undergarments with your outfit. Okay, this is something I see a lot with my friends. And I'm telling you this, my friends, you guys. <laughs> you need to take off the hanger ribbons, you know. It tends to come off from under the clothes and you see it. And then the person is sitting there and you can't tell them, oh yeah, you know what? Your hanger ribbon is coming out put it back. <laughs> so those are supposed to be cut off. I do cut all of them. I used to make this mistake before, so there's nothing harmful with that. We all make mistakes. But if you have learned about it now, you need to be um, applying it. And you need to be applying that on all of your outfits that have the hanger ribbon. The hanger ribbon are not supposed to be showing, for sure. Okay, 
This is another one. I know I've repeated this a lot, but I'm going to repeat it again. Creased clothing. Creased clothing are the worst thing that you can do to yourself or to your outfit. It could be looking gorgeous. You can be wearing, I don't know, 20,000 pounds worth of outfit. And if it's not ironed and it looks and it looks creased, it's completely ruined. So make sure to have maybe the spray. There are sprays on in the supermarket where you can just spray it on a shirt or something and it gets rid of the wrinkles. Um, I don't know, you can have a steamer. There's so many options that can do you can use at home to fix it. Also, when it comes to stains, if you are wearing something and you see that there is a stain on it, please take it off if you can take it off. But if the stain happens straight away at a restaurant or somewhere where you are at work or something always have with you this stain uh, pen it's like a tied one i don't want to be doing any uh promotion for any brand but there is a stain pen where you can just like take it off it's a small stain you just use it straight away and it takes off the stain and you can keep wearing your garment for the rest of the day that is something very helpful I, th I find it the best thing that you can have in your bag and when you go to events you go to places you will be everyone's best friend because you would have that pen and it would actually save someone's day or night <laughs> so get yourself that one have it in your bag all the time or uh, in your car or something that is very very helpful most of the clothes that are not natural fabric like polyester or even wool i realize even good quality wool has bubbling on it and when the bubbling happens on your clothes it just makes turns them to look a bit cheaper you know makes them look very cheap so my advice here to avoid this fashion mistake is to buy yourself this thing for the bubbly you know for the bubbly this thing for the bubbles you know on your clothes on your coat on your um jumpers and uh, it's not very expensive and you can buy it from amazon from tiktok shop from anywhere and it's really cheap and just have it with you or have it when you go traveling and that is a life savior to be honest with you and having bubbles on your clothes like that it's such a big for me big statement of someone who does not take care of their uh themselves or the way they look or uh, just not caring at all and that is a bit of a red flag for me and i get scared of people like that because if you're not caring about the bubbles in your jumper then you would not care about checking the work twice or you're not gonna you know care about listening to me when i'm talking so it's that kind of it gives uh it gives you the person comes across as not really very careless in a very negative way so that is a thing to try to avoid and fix it by buying this bubble thing i don't know how you call it that bubble remover by the way everything that i have mentioned here as a solution for your fashion mistakes are going to be linked below for you to shop for i have a nice uh amazon front store where i put everything that i use on a daily basis or i feel like are important to have you can check it down below and um grab these items if you need any one of them and yeah this is the um end of this video i hope you enjoyed it i hope uh it's helpful i hope it's practical for you guys and i hope i did not offend anyone every time i put videos like that i get comments of people like hating me hating the way i talk i just tend to be sarcastic i'm someone who loves to uh, crack a joke um if i come across a bit i don't know snobbish or something i don't mean to do that because i'm a really friendly and nice person <laughs> in general so please don't forget to like and subscribe and if you have any questions leave your comment down below and you can shop everything that i have mentioned in the description box description box description <laughs> in the description box thank you so much for watching have a lovely evening or a lovely day and i'll see you in my next video bye